Welcome to KeyTech. Please describe this channel if you are interesting in today's video. This is one of the greatest characteristics of a market economy, which is characterized by free trade. Numerous buyers and sellers scramble for the first place, forming a prosperous environment that can fully stimulate the enthusiasm and autonomy of the market. But precisely because of this, they will do everything possible to compete for more markets. This is a double-edged sword, both good and bad. In recent years, the international chip industry has entered a very intense stage, and major companies are trying to find ways to make a fortune in front of this opportunity. In the world of technology, technology always comes first. Almost every company puts research and development first. As long as they occupy an absolute leading position in technology, they can feel proud. However, countries like the United States, while pursuing technological progress, also conceal their harm, using advanced chip technology to attack other countries and seek personal gain for themselves. The United States not only gradually expanded its trade barriers to China, but also began to block China's imports and imports. The purpose is very clear, which is to suppress China's development in the semiconductor field. Not only because of the suppression by the United States, but also because their development time is too short, and they have to wait for a while to catch up with them. Among them, as a domestic chip manufacturing company, SMIC is very powerful and occupies a large part of the Chinese market, but it is far from reaching the level of being able to go abroad and go global. The most important thing for SMIC at present is to stabilize its foundation. First, it is difficult to make new progress because the foundation is unstable. Second, the Chinese market is too large to support a large semiconductor company. Some time ago, there was another good news. Foreign media reported that TSMC received two gifts from China. Everyone must be familiar with the series of sanctions imposed by the United States on the semiconductor industry. Among them, the restriction on lithography machines is one of them. According to the United States, this is a reckless approach. At the current level of technology, a chip cannot be produced without a lithography machine, and the quality of a chip depends on the precision of the chip. China can now manufacture its own lithography machines, but China's process technology is not the best in the world. If you want to manufacture more advanced chips, you must buy more lithography machines from abroad. There are not many top lithography machine manufacturers, but ASML in the Netherlands is one of the largest companies in the world, and this is what the United States wants. At the earliest time, the US government targeted ASML's EUV lithography machine, which is an important process equipment for 7 nanometers and below processes. But the United States still believes that their technology is not advanced enough, so they will improve the technology to within 10 nanometers. In the past year, it has further expanded, expanding the market to 14 nanometers and below 14 nanometers. The US sanctions on domestic chip companies are like a mountain, hitting them heavily. Although SMIC has already completed 14 nanometers production, its further development has been greatly restricted. SMIC said before that the research on the 7 nanometers process has been successful, but because of a lithography machine, mass production has not been possible. Fortunately, 
SMIC had the foresight to come up with another way. The sanctions imposed by the United States are difficult to break in a short period of time. It is better to avoid this way and find another way. SMIC aimed at the mature stage of 28 nanometers and put all its energy into the research and development of this process. Now it seems that there is not much demand for high-end wafers, and 28 nanometers wafers are still the leading industry. SMIC's approach is not wrong. In contrast, TSMC, which originally dismissed the 28 nanometer process, now has a regretful expression and hastily started the 28 nanometer chip project. The 28 nanometers fab was also restarted. TSMC's development speed is much faster than that of SMIC, but its influence in the market should not be underestimated. TSMC is one of the best semiconductor companies in the world, and their output and survival rate are very high. Moreover, TSMC is easier to buy, but SMIC will be suppressed by the US government. According to the latest reports, TSMC has begun to adjust its production plan because it has received a large number of orders and the 28 nanometer production base is one of them. That is to say, TSMC will withdraw from the 28 nanometers market, which surprised SMIC. The second reason is that an employee of ASML submitted a new lithography order to TSMC, which means that they can get new products in advance. This shows that SMIC's orders may be delivered and implemented ahead of schedule, which is also good news for them. These two actions of TSMC are beneficial to SMIC, which is why TSMC will give SMIC two gifts. But this is not a gift from TSMC. TSMC does not want its competitors to give it to others for nothing. In the final analysis, TSMC is not as prescient as SMIC, which has led to the current situation. This is not a gift from TSMC, rather, it is a result of TSMC's two actions, which are advantageous to SMIC. As a result, TSMC will provide SMIC with two gifts. It is not something that TSMC wants its rivals to give away for free. In the end, TSMC is not as foresighted as SMIC, which has resulted in the current circumstance. Thank you for watching this video. What do you think of this? Please share your ideas in the comment area.